Hey guys, Phil Broom here again from the West Point Band. I'm here to give you another video tutorial on how to make your recording sound better for all you tuba euphonium players out there. Um, in the first video, I outlined um, several techniques with regards to miking the instrument when we're actually recording it. Um, in this video, I'm going to take it one step further and we're going to talk about the post-production phase or mastering phase where we're going to take the recording that we just, that we just did and we're going to try and make it sound even better um, to, to send it off to wherever it's going, whether it's a competition, audition, or even a, a CD release. In order to make this section a bit more organized, I've divided it into three separate videos. One on basic editing, another one on mixing, and the last one a short section on the use of reverb. So we're going to get into some of those things. I'm going to get into Pro Tools. I'm going to get into a couple of different free applications that you can use um, uh, if, if, if you don't have the money to go get a professional um, software. And I'm going to show you how to use all of those things in different applications. So let's take a look. Okay, so here we are in Pro Tools, and I've got a recording of two excerpts um, from the Festival Variations by Claude T. Smith. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and treat this as if I'm sending this recording in to an audition. So I'm going to run you through all the steps that I would take to get this recording ready to go. Uh, first thing you'll notice is that I've done this multi-track with multiple microphones, um, all recorded all at the same time. And the first one is the ORTF pair, stereo pair. Um, then I've got a room pair that was in the back of the hall and a spot mic. Um, so this is kind of the what I recommend for recording yourself um, that I've laid out in the first video. Um, and then I also added a zoom so that you can hear what that sounds like compared to um, the rest of these mics. Um, and so the first thing I'm going to do to get this ready to go is I need to edit out any silence um, during the recording. And I'm going to do that all at one time with all the uh, tracks. And the best way to do that in Pro Tools is to select this all under the groups. So that groups them all together so that when I make selections, it does it to everything. So the first thing you'll notice is that when I start from the very beginning, um, this is me saying the take. That's Claude T. Smith, take two. All right, and then a whole bunch of silence. And then we get down to here, and I take my breath and the actual recording. So I need to actually edit out all the silence. Um, in the beginning and I also need to do it at the very end too because it ends like this All right, little reverb tail, but then a whole bunch of silence um, And this is this is something that a lot of people don't do before sending in an audition tape and it drives Audition committees crazy because they have to sit there and listen to 20 seconds um, or more of silence uh, Before hearing the actual take or you'll hear something like this from a portable recorder right, which is um, when you first set it up and then some silence so Try to edit out all that stuff um, because it's so simple to put it into um, an easy program like Pro Tools or I'll show you later uh, the free program Audacity and edit that stuff out. So let's go ahead and do that. So that's where my breath starts and I want to I want to have the breath and you can you can choose not to, to do it as well and you can get all the way up to there um, and, and just start it. But I'm going to take out the breath. So I'm going to take that with my cursor tool, drag, hit delete. Simple as that. It's gone. Now I can also undo that, right? Or um, with the trimmer tool, let's say I deleted that. The trimmer tool, I can actually take and bring it all the way back again. All right. So, but let's go ahead and take it out. All right. And then the next thing that I'm going to have to do, um, because of the way digital audio works, is I'm going to need to add a fade in the beginning so that we don't have any uh, clicks or pops. And the easy way to do that in Pro Tools is at the very top left edge. See this little fade guy, this box? I'm going to click and I'm going to drag just a little bit. All right, and the so that fades um, from zero all the way up to um, zero dB here. So um, I'm going to line that up with the start of my breath, which is right there. All right, so that that's about what you need to do for uh, the beginning and then at the very end. All right, so the tail goes to right about there because it's not a very big haul. Um, and so we're just going to do the exact same thing. Select, delete, and then um, we can do the same thing just on the opposite side with the box, the fade box. Oops. And... Um, we create one. We can also adjust the fade um, by taking the trimmer tool and adjusting it as such. 
you can make it longer, whatever you um, really feel like um, with regards to the music. All right, so that was the first excerpt, um, and then I would just do the exact same thing um, with the second excerpt. All right, so I'm going to not take the breath on this one. Um, a shortcut for Pro Tools is if you hit A, it'll trim to the cursor. All right, and I'm going to just add a quick little fade. So I don't have any pops. And same thing on the other end. If we hit S with Pro Tools, it trims off right there. Another way to add a fade is to make a selection here and do Command F on a Mac. It brings up this little dialog box um, so we can actually adjust how the fade goes. I like it like that. Hit OK. All right, and I'm going to make that go a little bit longer. And that's it as far as editing goes. All right, and that's so simple to do um, in Pro Tools or Audacity. If we go to Audacity, all right, so I have the same two recordings. And if I were to hear the... All right, so that's your breath. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, with the same kind of cursor tool, I'm going to hit delete. All right, and you can see in Audacity, it just brings everything to the zero line whenever you do that. Um, and then I'm going to make another, uh, let's see, I'm going to make another selection right about here. And I'm going to hit uh, effect. We're going to go to fade in. And it's now faded in just that little selection. All right, you can hear that, right? All right, same thing on the other end. All right, so I'm going to get rid of that and then make another selection. Fade out instead of fade in. And, and there you have it. And I would do the same thing um, with this excerpt. All right, so that's editing.